Hey, how many construction workers does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know. How many? I don't, I, I don't know. I was asking you. <sighs> Do you know anything? <sighs> well, you don't know either. Hey, what's up YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the TFC Toys Structor. So here we are, and there he is, and hello, Reflection. Nice to meet you. But, moving right along, first and foremost, as always, we will take a quick look at the packaging. Here it is, here's a picture of Structor. I really like this picture of him. He's in that, uh, stop in the name of love pose. And yes, his name is Structor. Yes, Hercules. It's a, it's a hammer. It's a, oh, that still amuses me. I don't know why. Um, come to this side. You have that same piece of artwork. Come to the back. You have your obligatory product shot. Yes, he does this. He does that. And he does the other. Come over here. And uh, he has silver parts. He has a big shovel. And he's a foot. And that's pretty much it for the packaging and when you open it up you get your instructionalizationalizing materials how to get them into foot mode and all that good stuff you also get your collector's card again stop in the name of love stop um, you get your tech specs on the back and unfortunately they leave out the fact that he made all state his senior year why would they leave that out it's one of his greatest accolades but moving right along here is Structor, who is an homage to G1 Constructicon Scrapper. He's the big payloader. And um, again, uh, like with the rest of these uh, Hercules figures, very nicely done. Um, like the way this came out. A lot of good molded in detail going on, just all around. Just very nicely done. Silver paint apps look good. Um, you have these uh, these posts right here, which you can uh, you can clip on some uh, clip on weapons, clip system weapons do fit on these posts right here, so you can do that. And these ports do again support mech tech weapons, so you can mech tech them out if you want. But yeah, very nicely done. Uh, the business end here of the payloader does have full range of movement. Also has this going on with that piston action. Very nice. Nice big wheels, so it rolls really well. And, um, yeah. Very, very, very well done. For some comparisons here, we'll bring in uh, Dark of the Moon Deluxe Roadbuster. Just so you can kind of see how things pan out here. There you have that. And we'll bring in his not constructed common buddies. There's Heavy Labor. There is Graver. Yeah. Starting to look good. We're getting the band together, people. We're getting the band back together. I love it. Now, he also does come with his accessories. He comes with the two, uh, his two guns. The one purple and the one trans clear and red. And he also comes with these wing parts, which will make up the, uh, the chest piece of Hercules, or not Devastator. So, you have that, and again, it's nice molded in detail in there. Looks good! And you can basically take these and, you know, plug them in wherever you want. You can take them, you can plug them in here, you can plug them in here, so you can have a flying payloader. Why not? Dare I say, why not? I know it's an homage to the, to the G1 version, because you can take that chest piece and, and uh, plop it on the back of G1 Scrapper, so it's kind of an homage to that. And, um, you know, the guns, you can take them, pop them here, pop them in here, put them wherever the heck you want to put them. Totally up to you. Um, and, of course, the, the, the most important comparison that I almost forgot to make. Yes. Oh. Do I have to say how precious it looks? It's just so precious. It's like his little, it's, it's like his little, his little son. I'm going to teach you how to destroy, son. I'm going to teach you. Come with me. Okay, Dad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
<coughs> the bad impressions come after the review. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. I, I jumped the gun there, and I apologize. But um, yes, very well done. And uh, you know, these just like with Xgraver, this section here you can pop right off for some reason. And <laughs> there's a port right here, and I don't know why, but you you can do this if you want to. You can take the shovel arm, and it does fit right there. So you could have that going on, which is kind of weird and scary at the same time. I, I, yeah. So you 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 have the option. You you have the option. That's all I'm gonna say is you have the option. But we'll just pop that right back on him. But yeah, nice payloader mode. Me likes. Me likes very much. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to go to uh, combined modes. So we're going to put him in his foot mode. We're going to get his foot on. So all you're going to do very simple. You're just going to take the shovel part, bring it all the way up like that. You're going to unpeg these sections right here, like that, and they just peg in with these pegs right there. You're going to take this whole black section right here, and you're going to rotate it. It's on a very heavy ratchet joint. Come on! Come on! And you basically want it in this position. So the wheel is now up like that. Then you're just going to take the arm and fold it up. And there is a tab right here. It's going to slot in right there. So you're going to take it, slot it in. You're going to do the same thing with the other arm. Just take it, bring it all the way forward. Dig! Dig! Come on! Get! But the greatest of ease. <laughs> the greatest. The greatest of ease! Dig! Oh, there you go. Greatest of ease. Fold that in. Bring it down like that. And voila! You have a foot. You have the foot of Hercules. And one cool thing is that it, he actually will have an ankle pivot because there is a joint right here. So Hercules will have an ankle pivot, which is pretty cool, which means you'll be able to get him in some, some good wide-legged stances, and that's, that's awesome. That is awesome. And I have made a personal rule, just a personal rule, that I am not combining anything. I'm not combining anything until I have all six figures in my possession. I don't want an almost devastator. I don't want to tease myself. I, I When I put Devastator together, I want it to be a whole Devastator. I don't want a Devastator missing an arm and a leg. No, no. I want a whole Devastator. So, I'm not combining anything right now. So, but, yes, here is the foot mode. It's a foot. <laughs> he knows the agony of defeat. Oh, 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 oh that was... That was horrible. But, um, okay, so now we'll go from here to robot mode. And uh, what you're going to do, you're pretty much already halfway there. You're going to come back here, you're going to take these gray pieces, and you're going to bring them out like that. And they were just tabbed in right here. And it frees up this section. Right here, and of course here you have that, that heavy ratchet joint here for uh, for combined mode. So he's definitely going to have a nice solid knee joint, because that ratchet is good and solid. But um, you're going to take this whole section and bring it up, like that. Now I like to split the legs ahead of time, just, it just makes things a little bit easier. Split the legs, and you're just going to unfold them, like that. Bring them down, and his knees are on a nice tight ratchet. And I don't mind that the joints are tight. I, I really don't. All that means is that all, all that means is he will have a very solid stance. You won't have to fight with him too much to get him in a stance. So once you have the legs down, you just want to bring down his heel spurs. Like that. You want to take this section here and basically just collapse it in on itself. You're going to bring this part in. Like that. And this is just going to peg in to that point right there, find the cab section, and you're just going to fold this up like that. So yes, he does have a bit of a badunkadunk, but hey, it's alright. It's alright. 
Let's straighten them out. Now you're just going to bring his arms down. Bring his fist out. Like that. Bring his other fist out. Bring your arm down. Grab his noggin. Just wiggle it out. Come on. Come on. With the greatest of ease. Get, 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 get. There we go. And there you have him, ladies and gentlemen. There is Structor in robot mode. And I do have to say, I think he is my favorite robot design. I think he just looks awesome. He just looks really, really good. And just, again, the crazy, just crazy light piping these guys have. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And also when you open the package, you see these two little, uh, these two plugs right here on his chest? These actually come in a separate little baggie when you open the box. And they're basically just to cover up the screw holes. So you just have to take them in and, and plug them in there. I couldn't get mines in all the way. And when I tried to push them in any further, I don't know if you can see it, but I have little, little tiny stress marks there. So they're fine. They're fine the way they are. I'm, I'm, I'm not stressing about it. <laughs> oh, more bad puns. But, yeah, excellent, excellent robot mode. Yeah, he does have a, a bit of a... Yeah. <laughs> but still, it, it doesn't bother me. He still looks great. Articulation-wise, his head can uh, rotate 360. Unfortunately, there's no upward movement, so we can't look up. Um, arms can do a full 360. They can go in and out. He has a bicep swivel. He has pretty much full range of movement on his elbows. Um, if you want to count this as wrist movement, he has that. Uh, legs can go in and out, they can go forward, they can go back. You know, they pretty much have full range of movement in the knees. Um, and that's pretty much it, you know, there's movement on the, uh, on the heel spurs. That's pretty much it for articulation. Um, a lot. Oh yeah, he does have a, uh, a thigh swivel. So, pretty poseable. I've been able to get him in some, some good some good poses, especially since he has these giant heel spurs and good solid leg joints. He's, he's actually pretty easy to pose. But yeah. Loving this guy. Loving it! And of course he does have his weapons. You can take him, plug him into his arms. If you don't want to plug him into his arms, you can always plug him right here on his forearms if you want. Or you could plug them in down here if you want to store them down there. Totally up to you. Totally up to you. Now the wings, you know, uh, the pictures and the instructions have the wings on the arms. And, you know, you can do that too if you want. Me, personally, I like plugging these wings in down here and folding it over the wing. I mean, folding it over the, uh, the, the wheel. To me, that just, that looks a lot better to me. I, I like the way that looks a lot better. So, yes. Again, loving this guy. Loving him! Loving him! And for comparison, here he is with Deluxe Roadbuster. And here he is with Little G1 Scrapper. Little Scrapper. You're a little scrapper! You're a scrapper, aren't you? And here he is with his Hercules brethren, heavy laborer, and excraver. Yeah, we're getting the band back together, people. <laughs> I'm excited. But yeah, very cool figure. I I love this guy. I I think he's my favorite of the three that I have so far. Um. Very nicely done robot mode. Uh, I, I just think he really, really looks great. I, I, I love the design. And um, again, I know price. People are complaining. Price, price, price. I know. But again, I will say Hercules. That's what this is all amounting to is Hercules. And that makes it worth it to me, at least. But yeah, very nicely done. Um... Oh, and one thing I did forget to mention in the articulation that um, that 
That ankle pivot also does serve as a joint for structure and, um, you know, gives them some kind of, uh, I guess, belly dancing action. Is that what this is? Hey, man. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> now with belly dancing, <clears throat> I lost my voice in the middle of a joke. Losing my voice in the middle of a bad joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> Constructor cons now with belly dancing action. I don't know. But very cool figure. I would definitely recommend him. And I think that is pretty much all there is to say. So there is the TFC Toys Structor. And this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. You know, Petro Rabbits always made me nervous. What is that? Small paws. It's weird. Hey there, guys. Uh, just wanted to let you know that we got done digging that big hole out front for you. Big hole? What are you talking about? Well, that big hole we had to dig out front to make room for the space bridge. What? Yeah, take a look. You weren't supposed to dig that hole out front. That was supposed to go in the backyard. No. Well, why didn't you say something sooner? Spent a lot of time digging that hole. Think you would have noticed. Said, hey, stop digging that hole. It's supposed to be out back, not here. Tuh. Whatever. Oh, my God. So hard to find good help these days. You know he did have a point there. Shots.